maybe that's what I do. I'll just put it in the music, just put it in the music. Someone put me out because I'm on fire. I can't give it to you for what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get to my Football League, presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Boston Scott on the return. Taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And Charles, we know how difficult it is to go back to back in the NFL. Few have succeeded in doing so. But here are the Kansas City Chiefs, champions of the AFC yet again, trying to lift that Lombardi trophy. And remember, this is a franchise that played in the first ever Super Bowl. Then they ended up winning Super Bowl IV, which was 50 years prior to winning Super Bowl 54. They didn't want to win another 50 years, so they went ahead and made it back this year. What a great run for this Kansas City team. But meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi trophy for the first time. And they're back looking for number two just 36 short months later. And we all remember that performance in the win against New England. What a game that was. Nick Foles, the backup quarterback, throwing for 373 yards and becoming the MVP in that game. Remember the Philly special or Philly Philly, depending on how you want to title that play. One of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back, and they're trying to make it another Super Bowl win in their last four years. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. First and 10. At the we often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. Deshaun Jackson off to the races. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun 
Jackson. 30 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice pass start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you can get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave and that gives you a little added pep. Makes the score Eagles 7, Chiefs nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs take over first and 10. At their own Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards the pick up there. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Throwing now is Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. He's at the 30. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Eagle. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. And it's good to make it 14-0. The scoop and score always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 20. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Three yards the gain there, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 39-yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Third and three. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have the Chiefs first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. They go play fake. Mahomes. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Sacked by Brandon Graham. He's 
He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third. It's Mahomes. Gets this one to him. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Mahomes firing complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of six there on first. From the 17, here's second and four. At the Eagles, 17 yard line. And again, it's Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That's good. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. First and goal at the four. They'll try to run it in going option right. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. First and 10. At their own 26 yards. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And got his man complete. It's a gain of 34. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Second down and ten. Throwing his hurts. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So that drive span five plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Chief seven. Jake Elliott. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. He'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. 
That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. 23-yard line. Now Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Incomplete. Makes it third down and 12 yards to go. Now here's Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make him really earn it. And this returnable for Rager. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of stuff. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. There goes a deep ball, in zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. His secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield. But he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Well, that was a long attempt to begin with, so the fake you might have known was somewhat of a possibility. Credit to the defense, though. They weren't fooled. You're right. They weren't fooled. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. The 20. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. I think they're going to have to make some decisions here. That's his second fumble here in the first quarter. And what I mean by that is, do you have the confidence to stay with him? Or are you going to have to make a change and maybe go to someone else? And the Eagles are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball. If that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. This is caught. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. At the Chiefs, five-yard line. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. And goal. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. A 21-yard attempt. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the ball's going to be going back to the Chiefs. I like the chutzpah there, right? They decided to go ahead and fake it and try and pick up a first down. But how about how they executed defensively and smothered that one? I ain't no back from my time frame. Everyone has responsibilities, even rushing on a field goal attempt. You got the tight end, you got the wing, get, wing back, you might have the guy out of the backfield. But they executed that well. They really stuck to what they needed to do. It wasn't just 11 guys trying to block it. They were ready, they got it done. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A well-executed 22-yard game. That's another. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you have to say, the pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. A loss of eight yards. It's second down. First quarter, 21-7, our score. 21, Chiefs 7. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Mahomes now to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Six yards. So we recount real quick. He had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Patrick Mahomes. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Here comes Rager. Found good room to run there. Returns at 14 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Hurts. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. At the 47-yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. This ball complete to Rager. Not much there, only a yard. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 32-yard line. Jackson's got it over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes? Intended for Dallas Goddard. From the 21, it's second and 10. Makes it second and 10. And they go play action with Hurts. Going to throw deep for the end zone. 
That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. And it's third down. Brings up third down and ten. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. And it's incomplete. Almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. But when you get a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get. Taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. 24, Chiefs 7. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. They run with Bell on first down as he'll get forward for about five yards. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Seven yards, the pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and ten. At the Here's Mahomes to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. At the 37 yard line. Now a first down carry by Bell. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Yard line, second and 11. Working from the gun, Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And he'll go down at the 28. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. That's good. They'll give him a yard on the play, and the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. First and 10 at the 27. They go play action here on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 27 yards, and the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. Harrison. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful...
successful catch and a completion of a play. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Right after, right down the middle. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And he's had his chances in this game. He just hasn't been able to find any daylight so far. Patience, patience, patience. And that's the hard part for a runner because they expect every run to be a big one for something to pop. So they have to sometimes go through the struggles before it happens for them later in the game. But he got to give credit to the rest of the team. They've worked around the fact that he hasn't had his normal big game. Yeah, despite his struggles, still winning here in the second quarter. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Play action. Here's Hurts. He'll fire it deep for Rager. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he'll be marked down all the way inside the KC 10. It's a big play there for the Eagles. 54 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. Partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays... They're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Here's Hurts to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Little loft on that touchdown pass and sort of dropped it in the breadbasket perfectly. Right in the bucket. And when you're coming out of college and you're working in the NFL, sometimes you forget about the different types of throws you have to make. You just rely on your fastball and throw it as hard as you can all the time. From this situation, he understood and threw it in a spot where only his receiver was going to get it and no one else. That was pretty. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five.
That's going to set him back five yards. talks with head coaches they talk about having multiple two-point plays ready in today's NFL they may have to go to an alternate one now after that penalty Accepted as it moves the offense backwards. certainly feels like they were wanting to go for two but weren't really sure they should go for two do we don't we do we don't we and guess what ends up happening five yard penalty that's right now you probably line up to kick the extra point
Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. They'll turn to Sanders, and they'll still try and run for it. Oh, refusing to go down. And this went incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, a mistake there. The kickoff out of bounds. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. A loss of four yards. It's second down. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, that one complete to Hill. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way.
down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. Offense. Play clock down to zero, and that's going to be a delay. Still first down. right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Now the play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. Still first down. down to zero and this is not the way to start a drive offense and they just did not get the snap away in time should get a snap I think this is now first and 25 after another penalty Sanders here as they run out of the gun call it a gain of 12 but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty now that was an excellent run and when you see that happen that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more offensive linemen and tight ends they're expected to block but the wide receivers all they want to do is catch passes, and when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. At their own 30 Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs' offense. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spot. But so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Now 
So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Now they have completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? To back good plays have them on the move on first down looking to throw is Mahomes under pressure and he will go down sat back at the 38 Fletcher Cox able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there I mean you know me normally don't have a lot of empathy for the QB right in this case Definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. This is caught, Watkins. Yeah, the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. City Chiefs, first down. Now it's Mahomes again. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. And again, it's Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill, and the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. The point after is good, and that trims the lead down to nine. 21. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 
25-yard Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. He only has a single solo carry, one. Numero uno, second quarter. They need to get in the ball more, don't they? I'm not the greatest statistician in the world. Yeah, you are. But a back like that with only one carry kind of takes me back to college in the classroom. Not enough evidence to declare what you should do the rest of the game. Give him the ball some more and find out. Will they incorporate him? We'll find out. right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. So offense moving a little too slow there. Could not get set. And they get the penalty. zero and this is not the way to start a drive on oh, a delay of game there they could not get the playoff in time frustrating for the head coach frustrating for the offense sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker Successive penalties have them looking now at a first and 20. And boy, again, they won't get this off in time. Delay of game, offense. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he is not happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. Sooner or later, we should get a snap, I think. This is now first and 25 after another penalty. And now again, the play clock's going to run out on him. So they'll walk him back half the distance. Still first down. They'll run with Sanders. 13 yards there offset some of the penalty yardage as it's second down. Part I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime.
delay of game, offense. And they're not going to get this one off in time. It'll be a delay. Still third down. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. and we're going to get a delay of game. Still fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Yeah, that'll cross midfield here, not by much. Out of bounds just on the other side of the 50. 48-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They go play fake. Mahomes going to let one fly for Robinson. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Craven LeBlanc with a pick. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. At their own 25-yard line. offense sent to begin their next drive and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and i think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out and he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven so we've come upon halftime in the big one the super bowl as we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. His three touchdown passes have his guys out in front. As we hand things back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
you know, you know. If you know about the carport, the trap door's supposed to be awkward. If you know, you know. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. Nothing you labeled and paid. 
Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40 yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 42. Out of the gun, he'll throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete forced out to his left Mahomes hit he lost the football and it's picked up by the Eagles Mahomes, well, let's be frank you hate the fumble at the end of the play but prior to that I liked a lot of what was going on tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Oh, in.
complete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Second and ten. Throwing his hurts. Caught by the tight end hurts. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On first and 10, it's Hurts. All income. Please. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercept. Okay. Instead, it's just second down. It leads to... Second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Hurts that time. But now it'll be third down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As he... And look at this, it's a fake! And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back.
get themselves reasserted and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. 20, 10, and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So a big play there, not only the fumble return for the touchdown, then they get the two-point try. And you know, for the defense, though, they were just over there sitting on the field. They had to rush out to try to defend that. You know, it's funny. They actually practice situations that they call sudden change when the team turns it over. I guarantee you no one practices a fumble return for a touchdown like that, and now someone goes for two. Really good strategy by them putting them in that situation. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. 25 yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. Team, they feel good about what they're doing. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Mahomes firing complete. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Mahomes will try again on second down. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before? Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. 
He'll set up to throw from the gun. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. 53 to Mike. 53. Check 53. Second down. Here's Hurts. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And now it's third down. Ten yards to go. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles add on to their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. KC's offense ready to take over. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. At the 32-yard line. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Mahomes going to fire this out wide to Hill. Mahomes pass. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 42-yard line. Throwing on second and three. Mahomes and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Oh, 
And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. At the They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this will... And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. But it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Now this will make it into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Eagles take over first and 10. Deshaun Jackson getting set to go again on offense. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll, we'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. 23 yards on the play. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. He'll fire it deep for Rager, and it's knocked away and incomplete. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, there defensively to make the play. Now being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. And defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it's third down. Third down and eight yards to go. Here's Mahomes to throw. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Eagles have recovered. He 
was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In, in the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball is snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. Let's shift now and discuss Deshaun Jackson. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. Been, seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jackson. Deshaun Jackson with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And a forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Eagles. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on the kick. Get away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set. to take over and last time the turnover on the fumble and they were in enemy territory so that had to be very frustrating down on the scoreboard here can't do it again you nailed every part of what was frustrating <laughs> down on the scoreboard had a drive going and pushed it past the 50 yard line so they thought they were in striking distance and to come away with nothing not a good feeling at all to put it mildly now they can't afford to do that again yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here throwing on second down Mahomes complete the tight end Kelsey and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield good yardage after the catch is that play good for 30 and a first First and 10 at the 46-yard line. The, 
They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Seven yards. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mikel Roby Coleman, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they're getting blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll look to throw right away. Looking deep for his tight end. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Give him 32 on the play. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. And these numbers on our monitor are getting hard to believe. He's closing in now right on the doorstep of 500 yards passing. I'm glad that you watched the monitor and said it first because I had trouble absorbing that. That's big time right there, right? That means everything just about has gone right for them and his squad in this game. Let's see if they can keep it up. But first down, Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. Hurt seven yards, the pick up there. It's a game of I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Deshaun Jackson there to make the grab. And the Eagles continue to roll. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that will extend this big lead. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 20 And out come the Chiefs now. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Watch your touch. 
and that's his third sack, and that ties his Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Well, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Yeah, another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Mahomes on target there to Hill. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So first and 10 now from the 30. First and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This is caught. Watkins. But he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That's another Kansas City Chiefs. First down. First and goal. At and again, it's Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. But it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Brought down just shy of the goal line. Four yards on the pickup. It's now third and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And the lane closes quickly for Bell, and he did not make it. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? Brings up fourth and goal. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Demarcus Robinson. Touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. At their own 25-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense. But yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. A gain of 13, it's a first down. 44-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, 56 yards. As his guys continue to pour it on. And that, boys and girls, is an NFL record sixth touchdown reception. The record has stood since 1950. What a game. How about that? Because so many things have to go right in order for it to happen. Not just him catching the passes. Someone delivering it accurately. Offensive line giving him time to throw the ball. A true team record. But he stands above it because he was on the receiving end of so many great plays. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more.
Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And now here comes Kansas City. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. On first down, Mahomes. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mahomes now to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Mahomes firing complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Throw left side complete. That's Bell. Offside. Defense. Come on, right? Just call the call. We got play. Come on now. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Now it's Mahomes again. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Brings up second and goal. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go -go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Tyreek Hill. Completed pass, brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. Le'Veon Bell, no shades there at 2015 against the Chargers where he stumbled in. Here he can't get in. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he could break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm still remembering. Alshon Jeffrey. He's at the 40. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Big yardage 
after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them in this game. He's got the hookup once again to Jeffrey. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the five. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, there to make the grab. And the Eagles are pouring it on say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. It doesn't matter whether you have an abacus, a calculator, just old-fashioned pencil and paper trying to total it up. The number is staggering. What a performance. This man knows how to find the end zone and make it count. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's another first down. I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. At the 33-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. A quick slant to Hill. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And that is caught. And they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. 
And that touchdown, well, it barely puts a dent in this lead. And unfortunately, I'm having too many flashbacks right now. I remember getting beat down like this playing before. Oh, yeah, college, high school. College, not a heck of a lot of fun. I still remember playing and trying to tackle an elusive tailback. Ended up scoring four touchdowns, 226 yards. He scored so many times and had so many great runs. I knew every note to their school's fight song. Bet that ice bath felt extra cold afterwards. Oh, 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 no, no, there was no ice bath. You're just trying to get out of there before the reporters got to you. And this carries into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Scott the return. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 22 yards. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title win and reach now as they try to polish this thing off. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. 48-yard line. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd. Waiting for this game has been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. Caught right side is Jeffrey. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays and a long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Chiefs take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Hill shedding the tackle. Open man is Hill. He's got it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the 43. One final try for Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. I'm holding on, I can't be replaced I just take a shit when it's free 
Then my energy paralyzed, I'm like I'm finger 11 Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair in a mess You're the best, if it ain't me, then you need you a confession You a mess, uh, you ain't scary to me I heard you was a leader, but that ain't apparent to me Put dust on you like Cheetah, run up there, I'm there in the scene And I feel just like Vegeta Prince and I'm an heir to the seat I mean, for real Touch the driver's soul so I don't even grab the wheel That's a lot my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing I mean I'm walking with some money, man, I mean a couple mil <clears throat> Ew, think you need a mail You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil And always lose things the first, but ain't half the man as well Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. You like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad, they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. I hate to break a ball me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB. I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toe to mall. You went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma grow that cash to my money. <laughs> you know what? Let me stop. <laughs> Yo, who tell us we ain't gonna win, man? Really? He's a bozo. Really? Yeah, we did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top once again. I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gonna jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gon' pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it from A to B. Wheels never felt like this. Two seats in the hills, how I feel righteous. Blue sheets for the mills, but the deal priceless. New keys can't care what's still private. I might just double it up, did it. Mm. Never enough, I'm with it. Uh. Five, two, three on the business. Whole team got wins in the world suspended. I told them. What I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and a slot to the click all in. I got ops. If he drop, I just hit my dance. I was top. They just watched. Had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Who really holding it down? I've been holding it down and I go it again and again. Who was the dummy that died? I'm the coldest of but he falling again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the what? You in the way. Either you rolling the roll in the dust. You better some what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the That's wins. Came in a drop on the team. Now we on top, top yeah. once again. Yeah. yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the oh. wins. Came in a drop on the team. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10.
A juke can shake a dollar. My moves make them run them up. I'm lit so you know what's up. I got the party going up. A champ with the crown is here. I'm a win in player. Hey, so shake it like you don't care. I shake it up everywhere. And I can bake cakes by the pound. Blow the whistle because I love that sound. And we can just keep going round. I'm ready for another round. Go ahead, touch down like that. Go ahead, touch down like that. Go ahead, touch down. Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy between the Dallas Cowboys taking on a second team from the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback at their own 25 yard line. down. Here's Cousins. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25.
From the shotgun, it's Cousins. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the option, here's Elliott. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. The loss of a... This is Tony Pollard. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. The 
Cowboys take over first and 10. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. When he came out of college, I thought his best attribute was being able to break the pocket and make plays in the open field. But watching him develop over the years, you see a guy who can stand in the pocket and deliver excellent throws into tight windows. Prescott on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Intended for Dalton I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Intended that time for Cooper, and it's third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And now another one thrown incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big pickup there, 20 yards as they convert on Ford. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars, 27. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Cowboys, first down. Prescott from the gun. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. They gotta love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Footing always a concern, but the extra points have been good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Brings their line to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Jaguars ready to go offensively for the first time with Gardner Minshew, former six-round pick at QB. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy that springs for the good stuff. At the 26-yard line. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. And it's third down. And nine yards to go. From the gun, Minshew to throw. 
And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Alvin Smith with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go. There is a hush indeed. Returnable here from the 38. A nice job getting free on a return for 13 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge. And this is caught inside the five. And he takes it all the way down to the three. Cowboy. A big play here for Dallas. 46 yards. They started this drive with terrific field position. And it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. Throwing, Prescott, and that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott, and the Cowboys will add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try to get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Jack Rice, nothing. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 24-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. Minshew going to lead up the Jaguars first and 10 at their own 24. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Intended for DJ Chark, incomplete. Coverage on the play by Trayvon Diggs. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball. Now Minshew has it knocked out. Fumble. Xavier Woods. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. A big third down play there for the Jazz. 57 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And he's got it. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Piper, Piper from 17 yards.
down, and the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Josh Lambeau now. Got the party going up. I jump with the crown is here. I'm a win in player. Hey, so shake it like Go ahead, touch down like that. Go ahead, touch down like that. Just a little hiccup. I did be ballin' this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry. I hate to eat gross. Ay, how did the lady go miss? Ay, how she would she mix? Met her at one of the functions. We caught a little rhythm. She caught up a friend. They kissed and we dipped it. And that's how we kicked it. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her. How I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half. Had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a spray. Can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same, things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I kick it? Yeah. Even with a spray, pain. Can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same,
people acting different, so I asked, can I? Before I went live, ain't know what I was. Ain't no one alive. To a God, this man said. To a God with a plan. I just wanna kick it, that's all I ask. Like, let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same, things have changed, can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I... Super Bowl 57, away we go from Arizona. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First look at the Cowboys' offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. I love his mobility, and I think he continues to get better and better as a pocket passer. But how about just his plain intangibles that he brings to the position? Mental toughness as well as a physical presence that helps power any offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw his press gun. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. First and 10 at the 25. How about a deep ball on the first play from scrimmage, putting that secondary on notice? Brandon, all I remember when I was a player is that we always took a test the night before the game about teams' tendencies and what they, what they plan to do. I'm not sure we think deep ball right out of the gate and putting us back on our heels. Scott. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. The first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game. And they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reacting. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Sweating likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. Seven. Jaguars nothing. Greg 
Dallas. Yeah, 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 Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From the six. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's the Jaguars offense for the first time with Gardner Minshew. The Washington State product leading the way. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up and down game. Almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Robinson, no gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. On the play. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. Now Minshew has it knocked out. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. Touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Zerline now for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. The kickoff for Dallas. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, and suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Second and four. Now an option play on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. No gain on the play. It's now third and four. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Leighton Vanderett. Gardner. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And take it right on the 30. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup.
And it's incomplete. It's a dangerous pass. That's what it was. And it brings up second down. Incomplete. He was covered by C.J. Henderson. Now Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dalton Schultz, 35 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21-0. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Takes this down deep on the Cowboys side of the field. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Minshew. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Big to Marcus Lawrence, getting in there and bringing him to the ground. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play call. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. He was trying to find his time tight end Josh Oliver and that'll make it third down I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch but the way they can run nowadays not necessarily so they gave it a shot downfield that one incomplete being chased out left that scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. The kick by Lambeau is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25 yards. Let's see what our player spotlight feature has in store with Dak Prescott. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's that. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A first down throw for Prescott. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. 
picked by Jared Wilson. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their own 43. First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties. And when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On the run, it's Robinson. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. Five-yard line. They'll run it down with Robinson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. Second and 12, Minshew throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Play by Trayvon Diggs. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Now Minshew has it knocked out, fumble. And the Cowboys have recovered. Neville Gallimore. Well, that's the down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I and mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I think you have to chalk that one up for the defense there. Someone right on the spot. Excellent coverage. Didn't leave him enough room to come down inbounds, even though he did catch the football. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Prescott now from the 50. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
A good pick up there, 21 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. C.D. Lamb is intended target. That'll bring up second down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game. But this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. Here's second and ten now from the 29. And again, it's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. But we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right. Runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. They'll throw again. Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete.
Complete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, but it'll be second and goal. Incomplete. Leads to second and goal. Prescott yet again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. To the air again, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, they're stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over. The point after it threw the raindrops up and good. And a route is on here in this first half. the touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And now the third down throw incomplete as well. well it's looking like another three and out here. And at some point, you've got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. And we're not even at halftime. Fielded at about the 28. Pushing his way through. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, ke keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Now this throw caught left side. And finally out of bounds, all the way down at about the two. 
It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 43 yards. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Prescott now. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Blake Bell there to make the grab. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Their first down 10 at their own 25-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. No on the play. Second and ten. On second down. It's Thompson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Chris Thompson. It's a first down on a gain of 10. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. They run. Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The Jags with a football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Minshew looking right sideline but it's incomplete pass. they've given up a few first downs on this drive but getting the incompletion there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide and room there to work it inside the 25 they get seven out of that so they're left with a third and three that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. And the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll run for it with Robinson. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Doug Barone can only shake his head. His guys are turned away. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. But now it's third down. 
They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, it's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll get this way down into Jacksonville territory. It's a big play there on third down. 59 yards. That pass was heavily defended on third down, but you know what? He's one of the best in the league at body control, and he showed you why there. So what that tells you is that the guy throwing the football understands his guys, doesn't he? Give them a chance, put it up there, and realize that even in a battle, they're more than likely to come down with the football. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. And... Stead at second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. Four. And that takes us from second to third down. C.J. Henderson. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Prescott to throw it. Open man Lamb. It's complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Goal at the five-yard line. Prescott to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action. Maybe.
throwing it. Complete to Blake Jarwin. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. And goal. Prescott from the gun. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dalton Schultz. Dalton Schultz with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys add on. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Zero line now for the PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Kickoff for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. First and 10. At the Gardner Minshew and the Jags ready to go on offense. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Now the throw taken in by Chark. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. A loss of five yards. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Minshew throwing on third down. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. At the 45-yard line. From the gun, Minshew to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. On first down, it's Robinson down to the 30 after a gain of three. The ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Brings up third down and seven. Out of the gun is Minshew. 
This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. Uh, this has neither the distance nor the accuracy. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. First down, Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. 30. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. Fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush. Don't slow them down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First and goal. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dalton Schultz with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And the route is on here in this first half. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced a dump off to the back. And even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Cooper, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And this offense is running away with this one. And Charles, the defender, was there. He just didn't get it. Sometimes these plays turn into basketball in a sense with two guys going up for the football. Which guy's going to box the other away from it and grab it? Yeah, I know you hear it a lot, but it's just the will to get it, right? Oh, without a doubt, the will as well as a really nice touch on the ball that was thrown. And some talent, too. Break their line to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. There's something you got to do. You got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Keelan Cole, the intended target, and it's third and four. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. The Jaguars on third down. Just a 20% success rate at two of ten. This is third and four. Minshew sets to throw. Connection made with Chanel. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. LaVisca Chanel, 49 yards. And the Jaguars able to get this back to within at least some measure of respectability. That touchdown was for all the fantasy people out there. May not change the final outcome, but some points were scored, and maybe some of the people at home are really excited to get those. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Now Pollard. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own. Amari Cooper and the Cowboys set to take over once again. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. That one goes for 24 yards. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. Over the middle. Cooper with it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and ten at the 43-yard line. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. Prescott's throw going to be caught by Gallup. And he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. It's a gain of 34 at the nine-yard line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And goal at the six-yard line. And again, it's Prescott. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Murray Cooper. With his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And this offense continues to pour it on.
So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort so maybe it'll open things up for some other people well they better figure something out and soon 63 Zerline connects on the extra point and the route is on here in this first half Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. Now here again comes Gardner Minshew. But a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field. Try to make sure his teammates... And he will go down. A Cowboys... starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. This is Chenault on the receiving end. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20, 10, 5, and he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Now Minshew has it knocked out. Fumble. But it looked like a Jaguar was able to cover this thing, and so Jacksonville will keep control. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Here's Minshew. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguar. Gardner Minshew on target to DJ Chark. And the Jags are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to that. Half and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time. Lambo to add on the extra point. After. 
And they get a bit of a respite here from what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. A drive there of just four plays. And it culminates in a Jags touchdown. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Now Pollard. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. And that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Amari Cooper and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defensive team. How do you press him, double him, triple him, all those things, but the best players show up each and every week, solid games, and some spectacular ones. And he has showed up time and time again. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. Now Prescott, he's going to try and go deep again. And that'll be incomplete as it's knocked away. But a penalty flag is down. So who's this going to be on? What's the deal, y'all? Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and in inches. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated. Ready to go for the second half. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. He's two. Team sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. 